hair. Hello. So today we are gonna be doing a what's in my bag video. Oof, my bag is so heavy right now. What I have in this varies based on class, whatever, but these are usually like, for the most part, the essentials that I carry throughout a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, let's begin. I got this bag from Abercrombie and Fitch on sale about two years ago. And it's pretty cool just because it has like a front pocket, pocket inside, and then the bag itself is like pretty large. Oh, it's like a baby. Just on the outside of my bag, I have like my big hair clip and it, everyone always says I'm doing like, they look like my mom. Am I my mom yet? So on the inside of my bag, I have a lot of trash. I have my Alpha Sigma Alpha hat, which I was wearing all day today because it was the first day it snowed. But this hat is so cute. I got it from um, Ali and Ari, and I would definitely recommend this website just because it has a lot of sorority stuff and frat stuff if you're like into that. But yeah, this hat's super cute and pretty warm, even though it was $26. Still worth it. <laughs> I have my planner and this is so helpful i definitely recommend getting a planner if you don't have one just because it helps me keep everything up to date and this planner i especially like because it has like cute quotes and stuff at the top and then to-do list and um just like a hourly calendar of like stuff you need to do which obviously i never follow because who wakes up at 6 a.m if we had no winter the spring would not be so pleasant if we did not sometimes taste of adversity prosperity would not be so welcome and bradstreet and thank you for those words of wisdom and bradstreet anyway so yeah i would definitely recommend getting this planner it has stickers and stuff and i just got this from target for like ten dollars i think and yeah it's super helpful hi i'm vlogging <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to meet you though. I'm is not usually this you? crazy. I'm just, this is the moment. Yeah, this is a fit, Lauren. Oh, this is my hair so class. Is class. Next, we have just this notebook and I got these from Target also. They're super cute. Um, they're decomposition books. So they're 100% post-consumer waste recycle pages. And yeah, it has like cool prints on the inside and they're small like so it's more portable because honestly that like wait look at the back of this Le next i just have my regular water bottle um this is by snm it's so cute i got this from target too duh um and it keeps my water cold all day i also have just this like regular plastic folder and i would definitely recommend if you guys are getting folders for school or for whatever get plastic don't get paper because paper rips so easily and with the plastic you can actually fill it as much as you want and it'll be fine and that's taken from me who you, in middle school i used to have one folder for every subject because i was crazy and the thing was like five inches still didn't rip so plastic great for the environment that's a joke um, and then I just have my laptop with my <laughs> GovBall 2019 running through the rain sticker. Thank you for scarring me, GovBall. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have in my main pocket. So this bag has a smaller pocket on the inside and it's just like a little zipper one. And this is where I keep like um, my adapter because my audio production class, we usually need to put a um, file in and it just makes it easier to like transfer all the information onto it and then i just have my um sandisk flash drive pads because you never know and then i have hand sanitizer because everyone at Cortland is like a little nasty and i don't like touching handles i'm really not a germaphobe it's just i'll be sitting in class and there's like someone behind me like <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, cover your mouth. Anyways, then this is when this comes in handy because I'm like, yeet. Guess who is germ free? This lamb. <laughs> Can work out. Uh -uh. Then I have a tampon and a piece of gum. That's disgusting. In my main pocket, I have 
miscellaneous garbage. I have my keys, which just have car keys on it, house key, home key, uh, my Food Town Club card. If you guys have a Food Town supermarket where you live, go to it. Like I never, I would always go to the Chico's, which is like the one that I used to live in when I, um, the town that I used to live in. But now that I live in a different town, this is the supermarket closest to me and it is so fire. They have everything organic, everything that you could ever imagine like in the supermarket it's crazy and like my like oh, sun chips they have like every flavor sun chips guys um and then i just have my Cortland id and then i just have this that my dad got me from japan um it's really cute it's supposed to be for good luck and i'm always like walking around like jingling and people are like like especially in class when i have to get a pencil everyone like bugs out but yeah and then it's just on my like Cortland lanyard. Um, so what else? I have my Tarte Lashes Lights and Camera Mascara. This mascara is so nice. It makes your eyes look like you have falsies on. Like you would never be able to tell that you have mascara on. I have my sunglasses that are all beat up. Um, I usually lifeguard with these. So they're like pretty crusty at this point. But you know, we're on that broke girl budget. So I'm just going to continue to use them. The name's Cruz Del Val. Lauren Cruz del Val. I have my Michael Kors wallet. Um, this was from my sister. She actually gave it to me. At the bottom, I have my MAC lip gloss. And this is such a nice lip gloss if you guys are looking for lip glosses. This is in the shade Oyster Girl. It comes out super sparkly, super shiny. And then I just have a bunch of like pens and pencils. I love like using pens and pencils in different colors just because when I'm studying, it makes it more interesting than just reading like blue black pencil so yeah guys that's everything that's in my bag um that also varies just on whether i have iced coffee or not because usually if i have iced coffee i'll carry it around in my starbucks cup and i just got this from target which i didn't even know that they had like starbucks sponsored stuff but they have every cup there another thing that i like to carry around in case i'm bored and have nothing to do are my two favorite books of the moment so i've been reading um kitchen confidential adventures in the culinary underbelly by anthony bourdain and right now i have the updated edition it's really good it like talks about his whole journey through the culinary world going to the cia which is the culinary institute of america and um Oh my god where is that upstate new york but not like that upstate it's like a couple minutes from poughkeepsie um and yeah it's really good i really love him something that no one really knows about anthony bourdain you would only get from like watching his shows and like seeing him and i'm sure that he was like different in person but he's very sarcastic and like just like kind of a savage like he'll say stuff in this book and i'm like oh like geez so this is one of my favorite books and then the other book i've been trying to read because i bought this so long ago and i never actually started reading it is the darlings are forever by melissa Cantor. um i'm pretty sure it's about like three friends I, on the back it just says meet the darlings jane drama queen victoria hopeless romantic natalia king of a genius kind of a genius i am not natalia <laughs> is everything in my bag i'm just putting everything back now so i am going to the library right now to get my life in check i'm probably gonna stop off at starbucks beforehand just to get a matcha green tea um definitely my favorite drink i recommend it if you guys haven't had it but get it without any sugar because no sugar makes it taste way better and way creamier um but this is what i'm wearing just my regular red boots my blue jeans my calvin klein coat and then I have this scarf that I got from Paris uh, two years ago and then my bag so yeah wish me luck I have a lot of studying to do and catching up to do before Erin comes for this weekend but it's gonna be worth it so I will see you guys soon I hope you enjoyed oh dear